The largest life-size gingerbread house in San Diego is baked and ready for people to enjoy. Heather Lake is live in Rancho Bernardo with a look. Good morning, Heather. Oh, good morning. If you have a sweet tooth, okay, this one's for you. Here's the deal. I know that it's here and baked and ready for people to enjoy, um, but it's just for looking. <laughs> you don't want to like walk by and actually take a pretzel off of this. So Rancho Bernardo Inn, this is a huge tradition for people in San Diego County and in Orange County to come down and see. And what's really cool is it is bigger and better than I have ever seen it in the past. Margaret, come on over here. This is your handiwork. She is the executive pastry chef here at RBN. And what's really cool is that you have now added a little bit of salty to our suite this year. You've had a little bit of a salty year, so I agree well, we <laughs> with what you did. It up. We want to sweeten it up for yeah. everybody. And we want to change it up a little bit every single year because people do come back. So we want to make it exciting, something new for them to see, and also familiar to come back to the hotel. We have a lot of pretzels this year. We have over 200 pretzels on this house. So fun. And I see the cinnamon buns as well. So let's talk a little bit about the traditions because you've been making this house for how many years? And it's a lot of your ideas that go on to it with a big team of people. Yeah, absolutely. So this is our 12th house wow. for the Rancho Bernardo and so it gets a bigger and better every single year. Uh, we've got about the 200 pretzels. We have cinnamon rolls. We have sugar cookies, cupcakes, donuts this year, which is different. We have all these candies. It's over 80 cinnamon rolls. It's over 2,300 pounds of gingerbread. Whoa. It's just the gingerbread alone. So how does it work? Do you bake all of the pieces and then construct it like a house? And I know there's a couple. I mean, there are also like a little bit of hardware pieces that have to keep everything together. Yes, absolutely. So our engineering department on team builds us a house frame, and then the pastry department builds all the cookie pieces and all the other elements elements that you see, meringues and fondants and candy pieces. So they apply everything with a heavy duty nail gun to keep everything secure because of the angles and the size. We want to make it safe for everybody. And then the pastry department comes up with the collaboration of our other team members from all the other departments on property, accounting, stewarding. It's a, it's a village. It takes a village to get this one done. So do people just walk to the property even if they're not staying here to take a picture and take a look and maybe go to the restaurant? Yeah, absolutely. People come because they know we're doing it. They check to make sure that it's going to be here for family photos. They come, take their photos. They enjoy sitting, having a glass of wine, looking at the house. Yeah. They go to Avant to have our holiday cocktails that are available right now. They go to Veranda to have outdoor casual dining. It can be a whole day to come here and see the hotel. Yeah, I mean, the grounds are beautiful. There's acres on acres of property. You can just walk around. There's tons of lights in the property and Christmas trees, which we'll show you guys in the next hour if you join us at 7.30. All right, Margaret, your handiwork up top. It looks amazing. Okay, here's my little mom tip. I'm going to just say it as you're baking for all the holidays. If you don't want your kids on crazy amounts of sugar, I say skip baking a ton of cookies and actually get one of these kits because most of the time they don't actually eat it. They just want to build it and then it all dries and Ooh, tastes funny point. anyway. So there's my little mom tip for everybody. Do the gingerbread houses because then it becomes a project that they don't actually eat all the sugar. Mm. You know, there's like a candy missing every once in a while, yeah. but like <laughs> normally they don't eat it. So yeah, don't invite it, me it over because I will eat that gingerbread <laughs> house, Heather. <laughs> but that is so cute. I love it. Thank you.